So have we found a midwife or not? What are we going to do? What's our birth plan going to be like? Do you see? Do you see that bub? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> he ended up telling me, <laughs> and Tanner has no idea. <laughs> Do you think the baby's a boy or a girl? Boy. The ultrasound tech said it's a We just wanted to introduce ourselves since we haven't done that in a while and we have a lot of new faces here. We are Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American yeah. family living in Germany for the last year and a half and we've absolutely loved it here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We've made new friends. This one. Come on, come on. <laughs> Tasted some incredibly delicious food. Cheesy, fatty. This is everything that I need in life. And had many cultural experiences that have opened our hearts and minds. He's beautiful. Ukrainians and they wanted to say Thank something. You. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. But it hasn't always come easy. Our adventure abroad has been met with many obstacles and heartbreak. You know, I'm just feeling a bit sad, I guess. However, in the end, they've only helped us grow. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Follow us on this epic journey as we continue to share our experiences as a little growing traveling family. We just finished up with our second doctor's appointment. Here's little baby. Baby actually has caught up. So last time when we came, baby was measuring just two days littler, but baby did some growth over the last couple weeks and is measuring exactly on date. So that's really fun to see. Baby was very active, moving, had his arm up here. I, I said he, not that we know it's a boy, but we're kind of thinking it's a boy. I guess time will only tell with that. Willa, for the past couple weeks, has told everyone it's a boy, and I have that little feeling as well. So we will see, but Baby was very active, and it was just really fun to see it dancing and moving around. Willa was like the exact opposite when we went into the doctors to try and find out what sex organ she had the doctor was like this baby's not moving like we were trying to like you know get my belly moving walk around and willa was just chilling she did not want to show any signs so it's kind of funny to at this point see the exact opposite like the first time it was a great experience still a little surprised at how short that heartbeat only is played it's it's like a couple seconds and that's all you get they were a bit more cautious with our camera this time so we couldn't get any live footage which we totally respect we're just so happy to walk away with these little printed out ultrasounds next week we're going to be going in for an intensive ultrasound appointment this is just to see if there's any abnormalities so the doctor highly encouraged that and we're gonna take advantage of it and see if there's anything to be aware of Willa was so cute seeing baby and after we left the appointment she said he's so cute and that about melted my heart. That's a wrap for this appointment. We're just more and more in love with this baby. Still not showing. I'm 12 weeks on Wednesday and you would have no idea. I'm feeling quite well. I've been a bit nauseous the past couple weeks, just mostly traveling with family. It's kind of taken its toll on me, but um, for the most part, doing really well. I got in an exercise yesterday and that felt amazing. So overall, just super grateful for a healthy body for this little baby and our growing fam. Flash forward a week and technically two days. So I'm 13 weeks now, and today we're gonna be going to the doctors to have a very detailed ultrasound. So this is actually something that I've never heard of before. Back in the States, they do a very detailed, intensive ultrasound at 20 weeks. And from what I'm aware of, they still do that here in Germany, but I get kind of like a second one here around 13 weeks. We're really excited because of course we love to see baby any chance we get 
And we're kind of wondering if we'll be able to find out the sex of the baby here. When we were talking to our doctor last week, trying to decide if we were going to do this appointment or not, during that time I was like, so is there any chance that we could find out the sex of the baby? And it was really hard to just know by her response because it wasn't really a no, but it wasn't really a yes. There's just still a few terms that are medical terms, right? And it's hard to know what each word is in the other language. And we're going in unsure if we will or not. We're on our way home from our appointment and I actually recorded a clip right when we were leaving Nuremberg and unfortunately the sound was off for the first part and so I'm gonna be redoing this part luckily though we have some exciting news to share with you guys and somehow literally like miraculously it got the sound of me sharing some of it with Tanner so let's rewind a bit the appointment was really good it seems like we spent a lot of time in the car driving there just for a short appointment and then we have a long drive back if you've watched our previous video of our first experience with prenatal care here in Germany you'll understand why we're traveling so far and going to Nuremberg for our visits. But regardless of the fact, we went in there, we're in the waiting room, and the ultrasound tech person came out, and after seeing that we had a child, I was the only one able to go into the room. We had previously received an email saying that children weren't allowed, but we couldn't find a babysitter, so it was just me in the room. But I received the best news possible, that baby is growing normally and looking really healthy. That's a huge sigh of relief for both Tanner and I. The other exciting news is that I was able to find out the gender of our babe. It was really fun recording that I actually was able to find out. So here's that clip of me telling Tanner. He Are you us. serious? <laughs> <laughs> he ended up telling me. And Tanner has no idea. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm guessing he's able to know and it's a boy, right? <laughs> you want me to tell you or not? No, do you not want to tell me or no? <laughs> Willis says, don't laugh, Johnny. <laughs> Do you think the baby's a boy or a girl? She's tried and true. She thinks it's a boy. What do you think, Tanner? I think because it's this early that if they know if it's a boy or a girl, that it's a boy. And we will let you guys know what oh I decide to God. do. <laughs> Who are we kidding? I want to tell Tanner and he wants me to tell him now. So we pulled over to the side of the road and <laughs> i'm right no what are you serious <laughs> the ultrasound tech said it's another girl really yeah the the person was like you had a girl in there right and i was like yeah and like well you're really good at making them and i was like wait so i had to like confirm <laughs> i was like so it's not a girl and the person was like I, I think it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I'm very surprised. <laughs> Wait, Willa, do you know that mommy, mommy has a baby girl in her tummy? You're gonna have a little baby sister. Mommy's gonna have a little baby girl. You're gonna get to play dress up with baby sister. And you can do nails together. And and sing songs and Jump play games. On the tramp. Oh. Play with your cars and your trains. And share clothes. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see Cross that fingers. We'll see <laughs> Did you hear that mommy's baby in her tummy is a girl? We think. Now when you go to the next appointment, ask them confirm. And so We'll see. Honestly, the person seemed quite confident. And I was shocked too because I feel like it's been a boy really the whole time. You were a little unsure, right? Thought totally that it was going to be a boy because her pregnancy has been very different than the first one. Mm -hmm. Albeit we have a toddler, not as many naps, a different schedule, being over here without family to, I think, distract as well and then to like help out is probably taken a little bit of its toll. So it will be interesting to see on our next visit to see when we actually can get verification on that. Yeah. Are you happy about it? Yeah, I am. Because I know that's what you've honestly wanted to. So. <laughs> <laughs> but what about you? No, definitely. I mean, it was 
totally fine either way. Like, I yeah. was really excited either way. But, yeah, I'm actually really excited. Good. Well, we're back at it on our way home. The appointment was good. A little bit bummed because we weren't able to find out the gender of the baby. The baby was in a position where the doctor couldn't see. And so that was a bit unfortunate, but it's gonna be exciting because in four weeks we go in for our big ultrasound, which is very common in the States as well. That's like when they do their first very large ultrasound is 20 weeks. Just making sure all of the organs, bones, everything are looking good and growing as they should. My mom hopefully will be in town for that, so Tanner will be able to join if Willa is not allowed in the room. We're honestly feeling a little tired. These are long drives. It's just a bummer that there wasn't a hospital closer to us that wasn't booked so far out to south. This is our situation. We're so grateful that we're able to have a place to go and to get checkups, but it is long. And the last thing I wanted to mention about today's appointment is that I was expecting to go in and to be able to stay dressed, maybe just pull my pants down a little bit while you know they did the ultrasound, but that's not the case. So back in the States, that's normally how it, how it would go, is they use the little machine for the first couple appointments. But once baby's grown bigger, they don't actually need it, and so you can stay dressed. Here, I went there and she's like, okay, go into the dressing room and I was like oh okay didn't expect that it was totally fine but she does it seems like almost like a pap smear every time I could be completely wrong she might not be doing that but she's definitely you know doing something down there kind of different because that wasn't my experience in the States and I was like oh I just expected to stay you know dressed on this one and she's like nope every time it will be the same so that's kind of nice I guess that they are just double checking everything um, each appointment. Okay, I'm switching gears here a little bit, but I wanted to give you guys an update about our midwife situation and our birth plan. The last time I've given you an update was since the very beginning when we first left the birth center. We were hoping to go in there, you know, meet the midwives who would possibly assist me in a birth at the birth center or at my home. Turns out that the birth center is closed during the month of March, and of course, that is when my due date is. So you saw me in the car quite emotional. A couple of you guys responded in the comments and were like, why are you crying over not getting the home birth? And I get that maybe that's what it looked like, but there was so much more in that situation. So I was first caught off guard that we weren't able to listen to baby's heartbeat. And then my hopes of finding a midwife who lived still fairly far away, but the closest one to us was not an option anymore. So that was kind of the second thing is so many of you guys have recommended find a midwife, like hurry find a midwife. I'm already not nine weeks pregnant, haven't been able to get this midwife. They gave me a list of contacts. And before we recorded that video, we'd actually gone through and called all of the resources that they gave us. We'd called the multiple midwives who were not able to assist us. They were either too far or unable to take on new clients. We'd also called multiple different OBGYN doctors and the answer was the same. They were either not accepting clients until October, which is about my midway mark, or they weren't accepting clients entirely. So the emotions were an accumulation of just not knowing what the future looked like for us. Deep down, we assumed we would still be taken care of, but in that moment, it just felt really uncertain. So what has happened since that point? Well, a lot of you guys have seen, we've been going to the prenatal clinic and it's been a good experience for us. From what we've heard from you guys, going to the OBGYN here in Germany is a very pleasant and wonderful experience. You guys have spoken so highly about that. And so obviously we can't compare, you know, how our prenatal clinic experience has been or would have been if we would have been able to get into an OBGYN. So although we have talked about how long the drives are, it's really not that different of what it would be like to even go to a hospital. We just live in the countryside of Germany, so everything is a ways away from us. And that's okay, we love our house, we wanna change it for that. Obviously, it does make things a little bit more difficult though, given the situation that we're expecting. Okay, so have we found a midwife or not? Thankfully, yes. Actually received a call from the midwife when we were in Belgium traveling with Tanner's parents back in August. And she gave me some really good news that she was willing to not only be my midwife, but to be my midwife and assist me at a home birth. 
Oh my gosh, I'm like sweating. The best news, you guys. Oh, yes. So after like three weeks of waiting for a midwife who, she's like my last hope. Kept calling, she's like, I'll call you back later. Weeks went by, I try and call, and she's like, I'll call you back later. Anyways, there's just a lot of period of waiting. But today she called with good news that she's willing to come to our house and do a home birth. <sighs> Since then, she's came to our house, we've met in person, and already there were multiple red flags of having a home birth. So the first one is just the proximity of where I live to her and the birth center she works at. It's a drive, you guys. Like I mentioned, any option for us is a drive, at least 30 to 40 minutes away. Drive is going to come whether we choose a hospital or a birth center, that's just the fact of it. She lives near Nuremberg, and so there is quite a drive for her. She said she wouldn't be as concerned if my due date was in a different month, say in the summer, because since it's in March, who knows what the weather conditions are going to be like, and that could definitely play a factor totally agree with her and understand those red flags. So that still poses the question of like, what are we going to do? What's our birth plan going to be like? And quite honestly, we're still in that limbo. We're still deciding and trying to navigate how we feel, what feels comfortable, what feels most safe for not only me, but especially for the baby. You know, we just wanna provide our baby with the safest option. So we're really looking into a birth center, or a hospital. But if we wanna work with this midwife, then we'll choose a birth center. Honestly, you guys, we've heard incredible things about the German hospitals. I have no doubt that I would be very happy going into a German hospital, as I have no doubt with the birth center. We're just gonna see what feels best for us and what feels right. Regardless, there's still gonna be a drive whichever way we go. It just feels so nice to know that we have a midwife. We'll just keep you guys updated with what we decide. I wanted to give you guys a huge thank you for all of your support, for all of your comments. You guys really have been giving us so much information about what the German healthcare system is like, especially prenatal care. We thought we knew what we were getting into and clearly we didn't, so. Thank you guys so much. You've been such a huge help and resource to us. It means a lot. In just a couple weeks, we're gonna have confirmation on what baby is, a boy or a girl. Last we heard, the doctor thinks it's a girl. And since then, we've just been so in love with that idea. Sisters, you guys, we might have two little girls and oh, how cute. If our next one's anything like Willie, you guys know <laughs> this is gonna be a wild ride. So much sweetness a bit of sassiness and just a whole bundle of cuteness. So we can't wait to just get confirmation and then at that point I'll be able to know what baby stuff I actually need. If it's a boy, man, we are gonna be starting fresh. But if it's a girl, we've got all the clothes. So that's kind of nice too. Can't believe I'm almost halfway. It feels surreal and you guys, I'm starting to get a little bump, which just gets me so excited because I tend to show quite late. that bump. There's a baby in there, you guys. Well, it's a girl. girl. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we're really happy about it. <laughs>